dripping from my chin. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry, I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop it. This is a freaking rude awakening to come back to the UK. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I freaking love it. I love it so much. It's actually the bit in the road I filmed earlier was, it's now nearly 10. That was at seven, it's been non-stop since then. I just popped over to see Maggie. It was lovely to see her. And yeah, I just popped into M&S to get some food and there was nothing I wanted. And I know it's 10 p.m. But my eating schedule's all off. I might pop to McDonald's to get something. <laughs> This is bad. Oh, that white noise though. Oh my God. like this ever <clears throat> I think this is a new vlog we better fix up look sharp then <laughs> it's Thursday night the 21st of September, and I have a solo date night tonight. It's a gig. I booked it like three months ago, and I really cannot be asked to go. It's taken me all day just to get myself in the shower, and I've finally done that, and I have very little energy. There we go. Hmm, shoulders look good. I've been attempting to unpack and tidy today and I've actually done a fair amount. I'm gonna drive tonight, doors open at seven and it's, it's 25 to seven. But this is the thing, I normally do this when I go to gigs. Like, yes, it's good to see the support acts because actually the girl I'm seeing tonight, her name's Jasmine Jethwa. She's she's really sweet. I saw her when, when I went to the Fourier gig earlier in the year, she was the support and I loved her so much. I've booked this to go and see her for her own headline show. So. Part of me really wants to stay in bed because it's raining. I don't have much, I haven't drunk any water today, so I'm dehydrated. Ridiculous, oh, I, it's because my water bottle, my big one's in the car, and I've just been really lazy. I've just been a bit of a shell of a person the last few days, <laughs> so um, not been functioning on all cylinders. So um, yeah, I am gonna make myself. I said to bubble friend, Laura, and I was like, I don't want to go. She was like, you'll be fine when you're out. You know what I might do? I might just put mascara, no. I might just put moisturizer on and a lippy and a, and a writ and a, and a hoop. That sounds like a good plan. Obviously some clothes, but let's start with that. We did it. Just, I've got my new trousers on. God, I'm anxious today. We've got a choice of two lipsticks. I'm gonna do a bit of brow as well. Oh, uh, could be going just a bit of brow, and then it's like brows. Get an antibacterial wipe. So we've got, is this Velvet Teddy by MAC? I think these are actually pretty much the same. <laughs> They're pretty much the same. We're going to go with the lighter one. 
Maggie got this in a advent calendar and it wasn't her colour. So she gave basically everything in the advent calendar to me. Which I was very, very happy about. Okay. Come on, Lauren. <laughs> I've kind of got over my panic attack now. <laughs> it's like an hour and a bit later. There's no freaking parking near this venue. I Googled it. It's next to, it's a new venue called Lafayette next to, in Paris, haha. <laughs> no, next to um, King's Cross um, in the new like Cold Drops Yard area, which I've actually never been to. One of my friends always has a little first dates there. Anyway. Um, there's no freaking parking there were two spaces outside that were disabled and then I found a car park well the King's King's Cross St Pancras car park but it was seven pounds for 20 minutes so I went in I, I pulled in and then a black cab pulled right up behind me and I was like ah what am I gonna do I've got to go in so I had to press for a ticket I went in I went around the corner did a u-turn came back out put the ticket in and luckily the barrier lifted straight away from me so I didn't need to pay five pounds sorry seven pounds twenty for going in and out that's what he said so uh I think I'm just gonna have to I've been listening to her lovely music all the way here so much traffic I think I I'm gonna give it one more chance it's now half eight I don't think she's gonna come on till nine because most acts don't. We might just have to have a concert for one in the car. So annoying. So yeah, Jasmine, we're trying, we're on our way. I'm annoyed that I didn't just get the tube because well no, I, I couldn't have today. My anxiety was too high, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm so used to just driving to places and parking outside because I'm just a lucky bee like that. Um, but then when it doesn't happen, I'm like, the universe is against me. Come on, universe. We've got this. We've already parked. It's fine. We've got this. Send me good, good vibes from the future. As in, you'll be watching this in the future, but this will now be the past. Just, okay. You're never going to believe it. We found a freaking space. Right. Right round the corner, let's go. I'm so proud of myself for going. I'm so glad I went. We'll have a chat in the car so I'm not flaunting my camera around all these potential thieves and murderers. It's so cute though, it's like right by the canal. Don't you just love gentrification? <sighs> We're back safe. It was so sweet. She's so sweet, she's so young. These trousers are so comfy. Basically, like I'm wearing pajamas outside. <sighs> okay, if that's Scala, then we need to go that way. Yeah, it was so good. At the beginning, she couldn't hear herself singing because the band were too loud, so she was a bit off. And I think she was really nervous. Look at me, e expert. It's just she was so good when I when I first saw her, and you could tell that she couldn't hear herself because she was like this with her ear. But. Yeah, she warmed up and she was excellente. But no, I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I made the effort to go round once more. Round, round, baby, round, round, spend the night on me. What's that, sugar babes? They weren't there. I'm freaking starving. 
I had some salmon and rice earlier um, and some pick and mix and a baby Twix. That's what I've eaten today. And when I was away, I didn't get my period, which is really freaking annoying. Well, not annoying because I didn't want it. But then it didn't come and I'm like, and don't worry, I'm not pregnant. money on it that the voice on those self checkouts is um no fielding why did i just throw my fizzy drink i want to show you my outfit but it's too dark so basically, it's this shirt, white top, these plissé trousers, and white train, oh, white trainers. And I feel like the only thing that is going to suffice at this time of night is a Tesco meal deal, which obviously is now three pounds forty with a club card. It's three ninety if you don't have a club card. And I got the eggs, eggs and ham Benedict sandwich, which none of them were appealing to me, to be honest and eating eggs at 11 p.m. probably isn't the best. For me, the ch the crisp choice is always between two. If you get to this point, this point should be quite near the beginning of the video. If you are someone who gets Tesco meal deals, tell me what your, your combination is. That used to be like my online dating question, what's your Tesco meal deal choice? I mean, no one ever responded, but I like the question. It's always, between barbecue hula hoops and salt and vinegar squares and today these one and i got the drink i got i've never seen it before oh it's zero sugar watermelon fanta i love anything watermelon watermelon or cherry flavored cherry pepsi max elite official taste test It doesn't really taste like anything. It has like a hint of, should I go home and eat my food? Yeah, let's go home. My hunger's taken over. <laughs> Wait, no, we need a crisp first. And also, I don't really want to sit in bed and eat an egg sandwich at 11 p.m. I don't know why, but that's just not the vibe I want right now. Mmm, why are these so good? So, so good. I feel like I've made a grave error. I actually haven't got a Tesco meal deal in ages. I would have got cheese and ham, but that just seemed a bit basic. So it's me getting egg and ham and hollandaise sauce. Oh, it's wet. It's very wet. Hmm. If you like egg and you like ham and you like hollandaise, I'd recommend this. It's got spinach in there as well. I don't know if I would recommend that sandwich. It was a bit bland. It could have done with some I don't know, flavour. Morning. What is the outside? Some like street cleaner. Yeah, a street cleaner. So, <laughs> post meal deal last night, I got home, well, I got home in the car and I was like, I'm just gonna sit here and go on my phone for a bit. I fell asleep in my car, twice. <laughs> And I was like, you know, when you're so tired. I was like, I could just sleep here all night. It's okay. I was like, no, because I kept imagining like waking up and someone just like sta standing there staring at me. And that was not very relaxing, to be honest. So I came in, I made it in. I made it to bed about midnight, I think it was. 
Yeah, I think I went on my phone. I can't remember what happened. I know that I didn't take my eyebrows off and I didn't take my lipstick off. That's all just mushed, mushed in the night. So today I have a, also how, how cute are these? All mine, baby, all real. Today I have a doctor's appointment to have a look at the scratch on my leg. Let me see if I can show you without revealing my modesty. Can you see it? You must be able to because that's my leg. For those of you who don't know, I have a seagrass bin, literally there, I can see it, but I can't be bothered to move to get it. Last week, I was just standing in this area and I missed my stepping and I fell into it and like the three prongs of metal like stuck up through the top and went up my leg. And I was just like, that's okay, I'll just put salt water on it, germaline, uh, I've been putting steroid cream on it to like speed it up. It wasn't until someone last week was like, "You have you had tetanus? And I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. So now I've got my got it in my head that I need a tetanus. So that's what I'm going today to the doctors for. And then tonight I've got dinner with Mickey. I'm going over to um, near Uxbridge where she lives. Well, it's not really Uxbridge, but you know, confidentiality and all that. So um, yeah, I'm driving west to see her. Go where? No, don't do it. So my life's a mess, but my outfit's cute. So <laughs> we've got hair in a scrunchy shirt, a bit of cleavage today, dress. Um, this is from ASOS. It's got pockets and um, just a white trainer. I'm wearing a dress so uh, the doctor has easy access to the cut. <laughs> um, I'm going to see mum now. I really need a coffee. Yeah, damn. <laughs> need to make sure they're flopped in. It's got pockets, 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 pockets. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave all this. <laughs> just pretend it doesn't exist. Destroy my life. Someone just commented and said, that the speed I drive around London is really stressful. And I just want to tell you, if you don't know, that I speed up my driving when, I, when it's, um, when it's front-facing camera, because most of London is 20 miles an hour. So if I put it all in real time, it would be like snail's pace. I just wanted to make that clear that I'm not some sort of like maniac. Um, and I'm, I know I kind of joke around, but I'm a very safe driver. I take my time. Anyway, just thought I would, <laughs> just thought I'd clear that up before we make a, make a move. I look hot today. And now it was over. I'd miss Madeline, Tim, and the rest of my colleagues, and I'd miss the job, but it might be for the best. I'd become too comfortable in the same job for 10 years, and it was time for a new challenge. The sunshine's gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to get drawn in to put washing on. <laughs> Don't know what to wear on Sunday. I might wear either my yellow skirt. Ease it back into the corner, careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know what you're like, you don't think. <sighs> that was on camera. One can know it's true. <laughs> Go on then. So you've got to put your head back a bit into the sunshine. That's it. That's the <laughs> So you found the sunny spot in the house. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a cat in human form. Yes. Sleep lovely. all day, mm. eat all night. <laughs> yeah. So just admiring the beautiful sunshine. I can see a little bit of blue sky up through the window. You're going to interview me? Yeah, I can do. Um, so, what's your thought for today? Um, God, it's an awful question, isn't it? Um, <laughs> when I just put the camera on and you're not expecting it. Yeah. Tell me. I'm going to get you to the catwalk in a minute and you're 90. My thought for today? Um, can I do one? Yeah. Surround yourself with by people that make you feel good. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and we all know... And if you have got instincts about things, follow them. 
Yes, interesting. Mm. But we all know who make us feel good because you just feel it naturally. You don't have to force anything. Mm -hmm. You just feel it. Mm. Yeah. What's your thought? Um, my thought for the day was what we were just saying um, earlier when we were just kind of generally talking. Yeah. It was um, to allow yourself to have a feeling that you're feeling and just think this is completely normal the way I'm feeling like this and not to try and analyse it too much. Mm. Like if you're feeling a bit low, there's probably a reason and just think this is life, this is how I'm feeling today and uh, without going into too many details, but just allow yourself. What was it the word you said um, that somebody um, said to you? Rachel says to me, it's completely understandable that you're feeling this way. Yes. So... Because I think we, 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 we're so taught to fix up, look sharp, aren't we? Like, put on a face mm, yeah. for other people, yeah. not necessarily ourselves. Yeah, because once you say that to yourself, that it's understandable that I'm feeling this way and it's fine that I'm feeling this way and just, just move, you can just move on from it. Mm. Yeah, Acceptance. I felt, yeah, I found that quite helpful. And I felt, I, I've been watching this couple, it's an American... Couples Counselor. It's on BBC called Couples Counselling. Yeah. It's amazing. Everybody needs to watch it. There's three series. Yeah, but if you're not in the UK, you might be able to find it somewhere else. Yeah. Most people are, most of our viewers are in the UK now, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yay. 47% now. In oh, UK. Amazing. Yeah. But um, yes, it's on it's on BBC, but it's um, a counsellor from New York, was she? She saw Yeah. Orla. Yeah. Orna. Mm. And it's really interesting because I didn't know that counsellors have to, if you're giving counselling, you have to go and unload with another counsellor so that yeah. you don't um, take it um, too much to heart. And also the other counsellor might be able to say, well, how about if you try this this um, method yeah. with them? Yeah. It's so interesting. And also the couples are all so different. Yeah. And I, I couldn't work out. When it was first on, I couldn't work out if it was fly on the wall, if it was fake. Mm. But it's real. It's real people, real lives. Yeah. And very entertaining. Yeah. So I'm not saying so that... entertaining. I'm not, not saying... funny ha ha, but no. like it's a bit of everything, isn't it? It's funny, it's heartbreaking, it's and some of it you can relate back to yourself. Yeah. Especially things about um It's a bit like life. Yeah, your childhood. Like if you've had things happen in your childhood, you still react to whatever happened to you in your childhood in that same way as an adult, mm. even though it's not the same situation. And when you hear this, you think, what? Because you can, <laughs> I, I know I do it. Yeah. I know I do it. And uh, learn, learned coping mechanisms, isn't it? Yeah. And, she, and there was a word, there was a name for it, like copying anxiety or something. Um, mm. But it's so, so good. And what, sometimes when she says things, the both of People go very quiet because they. She's hit the nail on the head, basically. Yeah. And yeah. you weren't expecting it. And I can remember once she said, I, "I'm feeling a lot of sadness between the two of you." You know, and things like that. It's very. Oh, I know what. Yeah. <laughs> Mum's gonna cry. Yeah, it's very, very touching. <laughs> so yeah, cut. This is not sponsored by Couples Counselling, but <laughs> Couples Counselling, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, so good, so so good. Yeah. I haven't even finished the third series yet. So shout out to Amy for recommending it to me. Yeah. I even told my counsellor about it. My therapist, I'm like, you need to watch Couples Counselling. Yes. She's like, I'll bear it in mind. Oh, uh, that's what I was going to show you. Okay. I, I just want to say thank you to Lauren for watching Couples Counselling. I thought you were going to say Lauren's counsellor. On my television under my <laughs> profile. So when I then went on to carry on, yes, you did. When you must have done. Oh, sorry if I live in a tiny studio with no well, TV and just I know, misery. It doesn't have BBC where she is. So Don't I then went. I then went, carried on watching my couple's counselling. I thought, oh, these are new people. I jumped a series. I was kind of like right at the end. And I was thinking, what, what happened to that couple, that couple, that couple, that couple? Well, they, you, you haven't watched it because Lauren has been on the TV. So I've sort of watched the beginning, watched the end. Then I went back and watched the middle. And because I loved it so much... I'm watching it again from the beginning. <laughs> That's not my fault if you didn't realise I'd watched it and you just... Because you, you know you can take them off of the list and then re-watch them again. I ju it just says, um, carry on watching. So I thought, yes, play. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
how is the editing going? It always puts me to sleep. Great. <laughs> it's because I'm just so calming and relaxing. Yeah. I just fall asleep. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> I've been upstairs emailing everybody and I've come down to see if you would like a proper coffee with frothy milk. Yes, please. So, um... Thanks for using my camera. Well done. Yeah, I'm using it. Yeah, I don't, I've literally... It's... Because it's 55 minutes long. And whose fault is that? Yours. Hmm. Everyone says this sofa's just like the most comfortable sofa they've ever sat on. Really? Yeah, all my... Like, Charlie and Amy. Whenever I have a friend round, they're like, Oh my God, this sofa. Well... You know the story about this? Dad was parking the car. You weren't? I went in. By the time he came up to the John Lewis furniture um, um, area, yeah. section, department. I'd chosen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's because the videos are so long. I have to like stay awake and alert whilst they're playing. But I know what's going to happen. I'm just doing a watch through to check that I haven't like, I don't know, popped a nipple out or something by accident. You're going to help me? I loved Etienne's company. He talked a lot, and even though I joked that he was clearly making up for the lack of conversation as a child, I was happy to listen to him. So I've just had my doctor's appointment about the cut on my leg. The doctor was really lovely. He was like, yeah, no, it looks like it's healing well. Whatever you're doing, keep it up, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I've been cleaning it and putting germaline, da, 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 da. So yeah, that's all good. Then I said out of the blue, I just said, I've actually got an appointment with you next week to look at the skin tag on my back. And he was like, oh, let's just do two, let's just do it now. Let's just have a look at it. I said, oh, I've, I've got the appointment just to check that it's something you can do because it's bigger than, it's like this, it's bigger than normal. I don't know why they, I feel the need to like give the size, like as if people think it's like the size of my head. Um, he was like, he was like, what did you do to it? I was like, I tried to remove it myself. He's like, okay. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, don't do that. So um, yeah, he was like, yeah, it's definitely something we can do. Obviously there's a weight and you'll need a stitch in it. But yeah, we can do it here. And I was like, yay. He's like, it looks really bruised. I'm like, it, yeah. I said it was kind of semi sliced off. Anyway, um, yeah. So that was good, two for one. Don't have to come back next week. In and out in six minutes, boom. So now I am off for a little swim because I'm hot and I need to move my body. And I really hope there's a space in the car park. Please universe, sort me out. Get me a space like you did last night. We've got this. Oh, there's three spaces. There's four spaces. Which one do I want? I'll go with the one next to the smart car. Because the smart car's so little. It's when I'm concentrating that I notice that I do that. swim I only swam for like only I swam for 10 minutes because that's all I could handle and I was also didn't want to be late for Nikki Nikki's one of my awesome online friends we met on Instagram which sounds crazy now to think about that so after I had my tummy tuck she was gonna have one as well so she was like can I have some information please and please can you be my friend she didn't say that I was just like, here's all the information and please be my friend. We kind of just became, wait, no, we kind of just became really good friends. I went to her wedding and now this is like 10 years on. And um, yeah, we're going out tonight. So when I was filming Vlogmas, if you haven't, if you're new to my channel, by the way, and you haven't watched my Vlogmas, I've done it twice now, last year and not the year before, but the year before that. So 2022 and 2020. 
2020. So it's all the days, it's everything, and it's like, I know that a lot of people watch it, like, through the year, like, as a series. So, yeah, go watch it. Anyway, this night, I'm going to link the video here in a card. This was a night that I was... Um, getting ready to go to see Nikki, but I was taking so much time, like, da 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 I've got all the time in the world, and then I was half an hour late. Yeah, I mean, so this is why now, a days, I, like, try and make a con an absolute, the, my best effort to be early. So, when I left, I would have arrived half an hour early. Now, I'm only four minutes early. To pick her up but I took a screenshot of my ways <laughs> to show that I left like 40 minutes ago I've been driving for 40 minutes now about 10 minutes from my house because the traffic is just mad so um Nikki I'm on my way um yeah I'm not gonna sing I'm on my way we're, we're doing this I'm not gonna be late I'm pretty I'm dressed what more could you ask for <laughs> so yeah I think I'm one of those people that I don't ever realise how much time things take, or I think, oh, like for instance, tonight, I was like, oh, she's only half an hour's drive. No, I looked it up, it was 55 minutes, not including the traffic, so therefore, that's at least an extra half an hour that I could have been late, but I prepared. I prepared. But yeah, my makeup has gone well. I look great. You're welcome, Nikki, here I come. She does watch my videos, so if she sees this, she's like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Do you want to be on it? I don't mind. I was on time. I was early. You were on time. You were on time. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you are in it, you just can't see yourself. <laughs> Hello, action. What? This is my Instagram friend. <laughs> Hi, this is so weird. <laughs> I literally what did you say up. when you got in the car? I'm in the famous car. I'm in the famous car. Don't be silly. You, you've car. been my friend before I got this car. We've been friends like 10 years now. Yeah, you know, it's 10 years this year. Oh my God. 10 years, actually next month, October. Wow. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? I found you on YouTube as well, didn't I? Yeah. And I <laughs> stalkerless, <laughs> like stalkerish messaged you, didn't I? It's like, beat me, my friend. I actually said that earlier. <laughs> did you? Did did yeah. <laughs> I said you messaged me. I'm never going to live it down. <laughs> I messaged, I, I said, you messaged me saying, hello, I'm just about to have a tummy tuck. Please, can you give me tips and please be my friend? But then I said, no, I did that back to you. Back to you. you were like, can I have tips? And I was like, can you be my friend? So. I thought you said, can I have tips? <laughs> you can have that too if you like. Oh, well, you don't need <laughs> Did you have a nice evening, my dear? Yeah. Music was weird, though. Music was weird. It was like, rave. <laughs> smile! <laughs> What's wrong with my smile? Nothing. Say bye. Hi. <laughs> you definitely know you're getting older when cleansing, cleansing your face at the end of a night is like bliss. <laughs> And you're just like, yes, this means it's bedtime. It's so funny when my real life friends, IRL friends, watch my videos. Because obviously I'm kind of used to making them for, well, for me, but for also people that don't know me in real life. So when Nikki was like, it's your famous car, I'm like, it's my car. <laughs> It's so bizarre. Oh, so funny. Oh, it was such a good night. I ate too much pizza. I probably could have left the last three slices, but I powered through. <laughs> 
I've got an exciting day tomorrow. I'm just looking for my moisturizer. And I'm like, oh, is that it? No, it's sweet chili mayo. <laughs> sweet chili mayonnaise. <laughs> Girl date this morning. Solo girl date. Me, myself, and I. Let's get some hydration. Oh, my nails match. Well, they will do. Oh my god, I've lost the power. B B R B. Remember we used to say like B R B. My brother once. My brother told me the other day. Remember when we used to text people? When we used to have like our phones, pre-smartphones, and you'd write text back kiss, TB kiss. <laughs> so cringe. Please text back. I still use BRB now. Cause I'm like, I'm just going, see you later. <laughs> BRB. It was so lovely seeing Nikki last night. So, so lovely. We got into like a rut of not seeing each other, only talking online. So now, whenever we make a date, we're on the date we have, we put in our next date when we're together. We're like, right, let's get our calendars out. Let's sort this. Otherwise, we both know it's not going to happen. And we've arranged it for November. So we're going to do like a pre-Christmas little hopefully London get together. Pre-vlogmas. Shh. Shh. Right, here we go. There I am. In my pants. Today, I think I might wear... No, we're good. <laughs> I showered last night, we're all good. Um, I bought this dress from Next. I took I took the tags off a bit too um, prematurely. So I don't know if it looks good. It doesn't really fit over my boobs, so look. <clears throat> My studio is in absolute state, so we need to sort that out later. See what I mean? It's got a pull tie, which I'm assuming is meant to go under the boobs, but it goes over them. So I've just um, straightened my hair with like the airbrush. Fabulous big hair. And I think I'm gonna put on some fancy earrings. I don't even know if I've told you where I've got or where I'm going yet. So these my mum gave to me. This is so dark, sorry. And they would match perfectly with this blue. They're clip-ons. Do they look a bit much? I mean, yes, they do. Yeah, I mean, they match perfectly, but they are a bit much. I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, wear them. Ah. This is some jewellery I got from mum when she was having her clear out. Ah, yes, we have a winner. Look at these stunning little uh, forget-me-nots. Perfect match. It feels illegal to even be wearing these. Things are there to be worn and loved and shown to the world, not kept in boxes. So, yeah, if you're saving something for best, quit that shiz. Burn that candle. Use that uh, cutlery set. <laughs> Use your wedding china. Whatever it is, use it. <laughs> okay, I need to go. This does feel a bit tight on the boobs, but I don't really care. It feels comfy. So this morning, I am in London and I'm going to an art gallery. I'm going to the Tate Britain to see um, the Rossetti exhibition. Now, I've wanted to see this exhibition for ages, and obviously it's me, so I haven't booked it. It was £22, and I was like, that's a lot of money um, for like one show. And I was a bit like, it will be worth it, but at the time um, I was earning less money because I've had a bit of, little bit of a pay rise. Uh, so I've had a bit of a pay rise, which is partly due to my mood changing because it's changed my life a lot. I need food actually. Anyway, let's down the thought. I was like, 22 pounds is a lot of money for one show. Instagram algorithms kept showing me the freaking 
don't do it kept showing me the freaking adverts and I was like oh god it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful I need to go let me show you a picture so I looked on the looked on the membership on the website to book and then it said you could either go to obviously the one show for 20 to 20 quid and there were a couple of other shows I wanted to see at the Tate including the Yak, oh, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, the, the one with all the lights. I actually had tickets booked for his light show, uh, the light room, sorry, not light show, um, during, before COVID started, so that had to be canceled and refunded. So I was like, well, I wanna go to that as well, and I wanted to go to a few others, and you can, you can become a member at the Tate, not sponsored, you can become a member at the Tate for, I think the year was 70 quid. Bearing in mind, if you go to, and I was thinking, I need to make myself go out more. And so I was like, you know what? My, my videos have taken off a bit. Why am I needing to justify this? I spent 70 quid on a Tate membership because I'm like, first of all, it supports London's art galleries. Second of all, it will make me get out the friggin' house more. Um, even if I am in the car, let's not talk about that. I was too anxious to get the train. Um, oh, we're on the Thames, nearly. Uh, we're at Millbank, which is the Thames. South Bank, uh, North Bank. Is it called North Bank? God, I love London. I'm really hungry. I should have got some food before going inside. So yeah, because I'm a member now, <laughs> I don't need to book, I can just go. Yeah, so basically my point of this whole thing is, this weekend, is the last weekend oh my god the thames looks gorgeous it's sparkling it's sparkling mud colored water but it's gorgeous yeah this weekend's the last weekend so in true lo lo i was gonna say lose it like lauren then in true live it like lauren fashion we're doing things at the last freaking minute so here we are uh here we are here we are so my plan is to spend an hour and a bit here, two hours. I've got two hours till the congestion charge kicks in. Oh, here we go. There we go. There it is. It's, no, there's no queue, good. I wanted to come before road closed ahead. Oh, that's where I was gonna freaking park. Okay need to be really careful when driving in London that you don't go down a no entry. She says that having been down many no entries before in her life. <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed we make it. Oh, there's a half marathon on today, that's why. Oh no, I think it's already been on because I saw a woman with a, with a medal. God, if you've done a half marathon by 10 a.m. on a Saturday, that is something I will never do. <laughs> Even by midnight on a Saturday, it's not happening. I found like the cutest street to park in. And we've got like a whole private garden here. I think I'm just behind the Tate now. So how do I get there? Okay, it's there. They'll be like, ticket please, madam. I'm like, I'm a member. <laughs> Aha, Tate Britain gallery entrance. Look at this gorgeous living wall. Could it be an even more perfect day? <laughs> Now I'm off to the best bit of any um, any gallery, the uh, gift shop. <laughs> oh. 
that was absolutely incredible. Um, but now I need to get back to my car and get out of the congestion charge zone so I don't get charged. It seems a bit of a shame to come into London. Oops. Come into London and have to run home. <laughs> but yeah, that's life. Oh my God, it's such a stunning day. I'm so out of breath. This is all ridden up. <laughs> my my belt keeps slipping. Um, I made that <laughs> congestion chart zone by the skin of my teeth. I think I was three minutes away. Well, I saw it said zone zone ends C, and then it was like a cross zone ends, and it was eleven fifty seven, and I was like, <laughs> bloody hell, skin of my teeth. Oh, that. I'm in awe of that exhibition. It's the kind of thing that you're looking at it and you're like, I can't quite grasp this because it's so beautiful. Um, this must be what you guys think when you watch these videos. <laughs> Did I just compare myself to pre-Raphaelite -Raph art? Yes. Yes. I got a couple of postcards in the little gift shop because it was the last weekend. They were reduced from 75p to 10p each. 90s prices, always happy. Um, now I'm going to try and get a bit of brunch. I wanted to just pick a restaurant, like pick a place randomly that I haven't been to before, but I was like, that's risky. So I am going to go to somewhere I haven't been before. It's called The Parlour. It's in Kensal Rise. I need to do another coat on these. They're not quite right. As I was leaving, I gave my, I got an audio guide because I was walking around like just the first room and I thought, I've got no idea what's going on. I could read it, but you know what I'm like with paying attention to anything. So I was like, I need another set of headphones in here. <laughs> right, where is this place? I think it's just off this road here. Yeah, it's there. Let's try and find a space. Finding a space. Here we go. Here's the space. Please tell me it's not. Please tell me I can park here. I can park here. Excelente. Thank you, universe. Yeah, so as I was returning my audio audio guide, um the woman who was like collecting them was like, I just love your dress. I was like, thanks. And then he said, it doesn't fit properly. But I just thought, don't give her that information. She doesn't need to know that. Um, I was like, thanks. She was like, I saw you earlier when you were in the, in the exhibition. I was like, I was like, it's from next. <laughs> um, Cause you feel like you've always got to say something. Oh my God, literally these things are busting out. They're like, we need to be free. Let me just show you my postcodes. No, my postcards. I got, I got five, six, I got six. Oh, because it was buy five, get one free. Uh, that girl just spat on the road. This is the Monovana. This wasn't my favorite, but I got it because it was just, I got it because of the, they, they looked at this one through an infrared camera and they could see how many times he changed her face and the features. And I thought that was fascinating. So that's why I got that one. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you my favorite last. This was the uh, a section of the La Gilanda, Gilandata. She's playing, she's playing the harp. This was by uh, Dante Rossetti, Dante Gabriel Rossetti. It's so funny because you see these pictures and you think, oh, they're, you know, they're pretty, but like so many of these were about obsession, love, drugs, sex work <laughs> and you would never know that like this poem was called goblins goblin market and it was about how 
she had so much temptation to like be bad and like she gave a lock of her hair and a single tear to pay for something like I think it was the fruit yeah she paid for fruit like the they're talking about the plumpness of the fruit and it's all sexual it's all sexual um this was my favorite this was called Lady Lilith Oil on Canvas by Dante Rossetti her hair is just absolutely excellent my fav one of my favorite paintings ever is Flaming June and this kind of reminds me of that with that hair it was annoying because I spent ages on like the first sketches and all the the rubbish and I should have <laughs> I should have skipped past that and gone straight to Lil. Lil got, had my heart. Oh, amazing. So here is a hint to put on a pretty dress and take yourself for brunch <laughs> on your own because it's great and take your headphones so you don't have to listen to people's drivel <laughs> oh it's got popcorn in it don't ask okay so now I wanted to get my eyebrows done because they're quite bushy at the moment but um can't be bothered to get an appointment. Oh! <laughs> I should probably go home before going to Louis and set my video for tomorrow to upload so then I can know that it's taking care of itself that sounds good to me hey. <laughs> what was that oh my god i've got spinach all up in my grill <laughs> all, like, all up in my gnashes so i need to go and yeah brush i don't know how i feel about a makeup look without mascara I feel like it looks good when I look in the mirror. My skin is really glowy today. Must be all the new subscribers. <laughs> um, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Did I actually just compare myself to pre-Raphaelite art? Yes, yes I did. The waiter who bought me my, mu my munch yeah my lunch brunch food 
um, was like, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, I had instant imposter syndrome. I was like, yeah. And he went, oh, because you got a little camera. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, that's really cool. And I was like, yeah, little GoPro, it's really good. And he was like, cool, enjoy. And I was like, oh, God. Because <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm doing it really... I mean, to be fair, he walked over to my table and gave me the food, so he was there. I always try and do it, like, really stealth mode. But I think I'm the least stealth person in this whole universe, to be honest. Oh, my God, why is this... <laughs> Why is it so stiff? That's what he said. Or she said. Or they said. <laughs> Go on. Oh! Ah! Boop! <laughs> Two at once. Hey! <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, babe, chill out. It's literally <laughs> cornflakes. But they are, they're so hungry. Sense, yeah, it's so you've got to do that with cornflakes. What? I think cornflakes, you've got to have a big mountain of cornflakes in the pot. Yeah. Right, because it melts down. This is great. I'm really annoyed because I've come into M&S to get some um, yellow sticker deals and I'm too early. Um, I'm too early. There are no yellow sticker deals to be had. One of you messaged me uh, this week saying you used to live in Mill Hill. Well, that was M&S Mill Hill. <laughs> I've actually never been here. Someone's watching me. Um, I only got pasta, tomatoes and a cucumber. My go-to whenever I don't know what to eat. It's obviously gonna be pasta. But yeah, that, so I have those two meals. Why didn't I get any bread or anything else? I, that it shocked me because I, I had to pay for freaking parking here because it's right by a train station so they don't let people park for free and then there weren't even any yellow sticker deals how cute do I look though <laughs> still got the earrings in from this morning but changed up to the little blue the little blue top number um, I'm wearing the vest top I got last week at the, at the charity shop. The blue, you can't actually tell that it's blue under blue because black under blue would have looked the same. I wanted some yellow sticker deals. I need to just pipe down and eat what's in my house. <laughs> I don't need yellow sticker deals. And we'd always have that growing up as well. That would be our big dessert. Parents are Nigerian, they, they only liked hot desserts, really. Mm -hmm. Of course we'd have ice cream, but really, it was all about custard and cake. My mum just... Hot, hot custard? Hot custard. On cold cake? Or on, would you warm the cake? On 